Welcome to this tutorial on how to create Ubuntu 22 long-term support virtual machine on Proxmox. We will guide you through the configuration process step by step. First, you need to download the desktop Ubuntu ISO file. The link is in the description. At the bottom left of the screen, you will find the minimum hardware requirements. To proceed, click on the download button located to your right. After the download is complete, you will find the file in your downloads folder. From your Proxmox node, select your local drive and then choose the option ISO images. Next, click on the upload button and select the Ubuntu ISO file to start the upload process. When completed successfully, you will see the message task OK. You are now ready to start the virtual machine creation. Click on your node and then click the Create VM button. On the general screen, specify the VM ID and the name for your virtual machine. Additionally, check the option box Start at Boot and click Next when complete. Now, on the OS tab, select the Ubuntu ISO image and validate that the type is set to Linux and the version is the latest available from the drop-down list. On the System tab, you can keep all parameters by default. On the Disk tab, you can specify the disk size for this VM. I will set it to 60 for gigabytes. On the CPU tab, specify the desired number of sockets and cores. Additionally, you may choose to specify the type as host, although this is optional. On the Memory tab, you can specify the amount of memory you want to allocate. I will allocate 8 GB. On the Netrock tab, you can use the default parameters. Verify all your parameters and check the box Start After Created. Your VM will be created. Click on your new VM and then select the Console option from the menu. You will see the installation process in progress. When the installation screen appears, select your language and then click on Install Ubuntu to begin the installation process. Select your keyboard language and layout. You can adjust these parameters according to your preferences. You can specify different partitions or use the default settings. Specify your time zone or region. Specify your name, the computer name that you want to use, and define an administrator user. You will be able to create additional users after completing the installation if needed. The final step of the installation will now begin. The installation is complete. The VM will now restart for the final step. You will need to remove the ISO drive in order to restart the VM properly. To remove the ISO drive, select the hardware menu, choose the Ubuntu ISO drive, and click the Remove button. Afterward, you can restart your VM to boot into your new Ubuntu environment. When the ISO drive is removed, you can navigate to the console menu to start your VM. Please enter your username and password to start your Ubuntu VM for the first time. If needed, you can connect to your different cloud accounts. Specify your options according to your preferences. The final step of the process is to apply all available updates. This ensures that your system is up to date with the latest security patches, bug fixes, and enhancements, providing a smooth and secure user experience. It's essential to regularly update your system to maintain optimal performance and protect against potential vulnerabilities.
Once the updates are applied, your system will be ready to operate efficiently and securely. The VM will restart for the final time. Your Ubuntu VM is now available. This completes the entire installation process.